Welcome to That's Easy, the video tutorial series that helps you use Watlow Easy Zone products. In this installment, we will define auto, manual, and off modes of control, show that there are multiple sources for closed loop set point generation while in auto mode, list and indicate the order of priority for these sources, show how to change the user's requested closed loop set point using the keypad and demonstrate that the controller will respond to your request. The controller has three control modes of operation. Auto mode, also referred to as closed loop control. Manual mode, also referred to as open loop control. And off, where there is no control output. In auto mode, the controller monitors the sensor input to determine if closed loop control is possible. In this diagram, a type T thermocouple monitors the temperature of a heater. The controller checks to make certain a functioning sensor is providing a valid input signal. Assuming the user requested the auto mode and a valid analog signal is present, the controller will perform closed loop control. Closed loop control uses the process sensor to determine the difference between the process value, shown here in red on the upper display, and the closed loop set point shown here in green on the lower display. The controller applies or removes power to a control output to reduce the difference. To change the user requested closed loop set point, Use the up or down key to enter the desired closed loop set point while in auto mode. Holding a key in accelerates the changing value. Release before you see the desired set value to prevent going past your selection. This setting applies provided that the other sources of closed loop set point are not active. The controller will accept the change set point after three seconds of no keypad activity. Notice the heater being activated, shown here by the number one red LED, illumination next to the process temperature. This indicates that output one is being activated. Output one is connected to apply power to the heater. The temperature begins to rise as the heat is applied and is measured by the sensor. In manual mode, the controller does not use the sensor input to control the load, but operates in open loop. The controller still updates the readings from the sensor if connected. The user specifies the amount of power to supply the load. The percent indicator shows the manual set point is in power. The output indicator flashes at a rate proportional to the selected output. Please note that 0.1 to 100.0% settings represent heating and negative 0.1 to negative 100.0% represent cooling request for power. An open loop set point is set at 50%, which causes the heater to produce 50% of available power. The output indicator will flash at a 50% rate to indicate this setting. The process will stabilize at a temperature where 50% heat applied to the load equals the heat lost by the system. In off mode, the control outputs are set off or to the minimum analog value. Therefore, there is no control. The lower display indicates off in place of the active set point. The controller still updates the readings from the sensor if connected. The controller indicators stay off to indicate no output activity. In this video installment, our focus is on the auto mode. To see how to change control modes, refer to the user's manual or watch other video installments. The closed loop set point used in auto mode has multiple sources for requesting the process to change value. Some of the possible sources are a running profile programmed to change the set point over time, an idle set point requested via digital input or an easy key. A remote set point, fed to the controller using a second analog input and is active. 
a set point generated and sent using communications from a PC or PLC. And most commonly, the user requests a closed loop set point using the keypad. The order of priority is shown for these sources. This means, for instance, that other set point requests will be ignored if the profile is active, as it has the highest priority. Not all models have all sources available. Please check your model number and programming for availability. Let's review what we've covered. There are three modes of control. Auto, called closed loop control. Manual, called open loop control. And off. Auto mode can have multiple sources for establishing a closed loop set point. These sources have varying priority, meaning some sources override other sources. The up or down key is used to enter a user closed loop set point, and the entry occurs three seconds after the keys are released. The controller responds by adding or removing energy to the load to achieve the desired set point. Still have questions? Refer to any supplied user's manual for the equipment and controller. Electronic copies of Easy Zone controller manuals are available on Watlow's website. Questions on the equipment should be directed to the original equipment manufacturer or systems integrator. Only they know the equipment and the required controller settings. For questions specific to the controller, email Watlow Technical Support at wintechsupport at watlow.com or call and speak to an application engineer at 507 494 5656 between 7 o'clock a.m. and 5 o'clock p.m. Central Standard Time. If you email or call Watlow, be sure to have the controller's model number. We hope you found this installment of That's Easy helpful. We'll explore additional topics in other installments.